A threat at Bend High School brings a strong police presence and puts the building into a lockout. Other schools go into secure mode, creating frightening moments for students and parents. Bend police determined there's no credible threat, but police are still on the scene as a precaution. Let's get right out to Noah Chast. He's live at Bend High School. Noah? Well, Lee, you're exactly correct. Police are still here on the scene. They have caution taped off much of the school, and they're still investigating because, as you mentioned, a person did make a threat saying that they were at the school with a weapon. They investigated that, did not find that. But here's a pretty interesting development right now as you look to my left, your right. It seems like a bomb unit of some kind is investigating here at Bend, at Bend High School. And here's what Bend Police just tweeted. They said, heads up, an unattended bag was located on the exterior grounds of Bend High, and Bend Police have asked OSP's explosive disposal unit to examine it out of an abundance of caution. The area has been cordoned off. The unit is on scene. We'll update that as soon as possible. So that's what's going on right now. But in terms of the, uh, the threat earlier today, a call was made around 1.30 with Bend Police responding in minutes. They searched the area for roughly an hour, deciding there was no credible threat. Students inside were placed in a secure mode, or what can be referred to as a lockout, meaning there was no threat inside the building, but students were kept in their classrooms or locker rooms. All of the Bend schools were put in secure mode out of an abundance of caution. For the Bend students and parents, the whole situation was alarming, knowing something was happening, but not being sure exactly what. We're going to go into a secure. Everyone was like, oh, that's a little weird because like, we didn't think anything was on the schedule for like a drill. Shortly after, my 17-year-old texted me and said, hey, just heads up, we're safe. We're in the locker room. The teachers locked the doors. Police are going through the school with guns. We saw on social media that some people were like posting like the police vehicles and stuff. I was driving, so I parked, and I was just worried, nervous. Told her to make sure to keep the doors locked, text her back, so keep the doors locked, stay safe, you know. Oof. And so we kind of just stayed in the classroom that we were in until they told us that we were out of it, but um, it was kind of weird, I guess, because people didn't really know what was going on, but we knew we were safe. And around 2.15, police deemed there was no active threat and the school was cleared to continue as usual and allow students to leave. Our priority is to get there and end the threat. And so that's why you saw, if you were out and about, you saw cars going lights and sirens as fast as they could to get to the school. And Bend Police is currently still investigating the threat and seeing who made that. And they're trying to find out who that number was from, if it was a real number or if it was a fake number. And actually right behind me just now at the moment, they're taking down the caution tape in that area where they were investigating with what I believe to be their bomb disposal unit and around the entire school actually. So I guess whatever threat that possibly they were looking for, they've deemed it clear that's not official yet at the moment, but they are taking down the caution tape around the school and around the areas where they were investigating. So we'll have more updates to this as they come in in terms of what's happening at the school. But our latest update is that there is no active shooting or weapon threat, and they're taking down the caution tape here at Bend High. Live in Bend, Noah Chast, News Channel 21.